Hey everyone, John Henry here, and today we're going to be taking a look at crude oil on a breakout move higher. Now, as we can see, we have an ascending wedge that's been forming all morning. Uh, now, that ascending wedge, they initially started it right here, and they tried breaking out, and they failed back to new high. So then it widened out a little bit, and they tried breaking out of that one, and that failed and eventually made it to a new high. So now we're working on this one higher, and then we see a huge bull reaction up on top here. Now, follow up a huge bull reaction to the fact that they're not gaining any ground to the downside kind of tells us where we should be going, right? So I'm looking to get in 4988. Uh, I'm sorry, 5003 is the entry. The stop is at 4988. The target is going to be up at 50. 20 and that way we have a one-to-one -one for our stop to our target now in terms of the upside momentum that's really about all that i'm looking for essentially i'm looking for all the sellers that have been trying and trying and trying and trying and trying to give up and that should be enough juice to have this breakout candle kind of double up on itself uh, so that should allow us to get our objectives up at that 50 20 area uh, and from there you know we can look to take some profit and kind of play it by ear uh, in terms of buying a pullback or something like that after the breakout, but uh, that's kind of what we're looking for at the moment. The sellers have completely fallen apart several times over now, and now we're seeing them just kind of give up the ghost, and we're getting a big bull move up. So I'm looking to buy into it. 5003 is the entry point, looking for a move up to 5020. Seeing the buyers pushing up into our target area, we are now two ticks away. We still haven't, you know, kind of hit that area. There we go. Now we've gotten one tick away. So I want to reduce all the risk here. Let's lock out everything. I don't want to give anything back on this trade. And it's either going to hit my target or it's going to get me out. So my stop is going to move up to 50.09. Essentially, the main reason behind that is we've gone 99% of the way, right? We've gone one tick away from our target. I'm not willing to give anything back on the trade. I want to make at least something. So 50.09 is going to be the stop. Entry point is still at 50.03. We're pushing up to that 50.20 area uh, and seeing the buyers really follow it through. Now, one thing that added a lot of emphasis is the follow-up candle, right? We broke out strong breakout move and then they followed it up with another strong bull breakout. Now that's important because that kind of proves that the breakout is actually happening and that gives us even more upward bias. The sellers try taking over and look at that piddly little candle they were able to manage before the buyers picked up on that weakness, not that that was hard to do, uh, and shoved that market right back up to the high again. So crude oil very strongly up uh, in terms of this bull breakout, looking for our target at 50.20. Now after this, uh, if we can get our target at 50.20, then there's going to be a lot of buyers that are looking to pick up a pullback uh, after the breakout. Very commonly, you'll see a breakout that breaks out and then it pulls back. The rest of the buyers kind of pick that area up and then they try to get another run back up to the high as we get the target filled there for a beautiful run higher. So the next thing that we can be looking for is a pullback to be buying somewhere down here on the retest for a move back up again. So that's going to do it for me. Beautiful move up. It's exactly what we were looking for. Can't really ask for much more than that on a relatively slow day day today. Uh, but either way, if you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email into School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.